Spare change. Spare change, ma'am. Squidward? Squidward, is that you? Uh, I, uh... Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, today is Thursday, which is like an event week, and I'm just sitting here scratching my head like, what the F is Rockstar thinking? Then I remember all the the shady stuff that Rockstar has been doing for the past year or so revolving around, you know, Expanded Enhance, the GTA Trilogy Remasters, Red Dead Online, GTA Plus, something here. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. And let's just go ahead and get into it. So we have a very uh, so interesting uh, benefits revolving around GTA Plus for the next month or so. This is like a monthly thing. So uh, clearly in the screenshot, you see that this month's events and benefits... A hundred, a hundred percent chance of diamonds in the diamond casino heist. Meaning, when you scope out the uh, the casino for the diamond casino heist, you actually get diamonds like every single time for a whole month. Could you, imagine doing the casino heist twice a day. Like Jesus Christ! Like G, the GTA Plus members are gonna get, are gonna get rich as hell doing that. Especially if they just get like eighty five percent, and then their friend gets eighty five percent on theirs, bro. When when they when they host each uh, heist from their different car arcades, they're gonna be stupid rich, and it's stupidly unfair. So, to pay six five ninety nine or six ninety nine, however however much GTA Plus is, five ninety nine or six ninety nine a month, you get like damn near two million dollars from the casino heist. You get fifty percent off lesser and support crew on the on the diamond casino heist, meaning that. The NPC crew, like the crew cuts, like from the getaway driver, the gunman, the hacker, who relatively don't do anything because you source everything pretty much. They, uh, pretty much, they are going to get less money. And, you know, I feel like they shouldn't have gotten a lot of money at all because, like, if you choose, like, the worst guns, if you choose the worst cars and the best hacker, that's, like, at, at least 19 to 21% of your, uh, cut going to. 19 to 21 percent of the uh, crew is getting paid so let's say you get like two million dollars about 20 percent of that is going to go to like the npc which is basically like it doesn't do anything you know so that's good you know, good for them you know we got double money on standard time trials meaning you know standard time trials you know that's going to be about two hundred thousand dollars per time trial Four times money on data leaks, setups, and finale. That that is aggravates the hell out of me. If they're talking about all the uh, missions, you know, for the uh, for the Dr. Dre contract, whatever you want to call it, if they're talking about all the missions, then yeah, that shit should have been the each finale should have been a hundred thousand dollars, not this twenty thousand dollar bullshit. Like I remember the first time I played it, I got a hundred thousand dollar bonus for each of the. Uh, each of the finales for the Dr. Dre contract, I'm sitting here thinking, oh, okay, this is this is a normal pay. We get $100,000 per finale, and then for the uh, final finale, we get a million dollars. That seems reasonable, but that's not the case. You just get paid like $20,000. I'm sitting, I'm sitting here scratching my head like, what the fuck are they thinking? Then we go, we go on 50% more GTA um, money on the VIP contract finale. So that means they're getting paid fucking 1.5 million dollars for the Dr. Dre finale. Like, granted, it does take like two hour, an hour and a half to two hours to actually complete the contract. You can do it solo, and it's stupidly easy, by the way. But at the same time, it's like, bro, what the fuck? And then we got 40% off casino store and house decorations, and I'm just sitting here like, bro, I could have used that like about a month ago when we, my, me and my friend, we were just splurging our money on the on the uh, casino furniture because we were like we were like trying to win chips we we can only put in like 50,000 chips a day in the casino so like it was kind of a pain in the ass to actually like buy everything even though me and him are both rich so 40 percent off like yeah we could have used that like a month ago but i digress i'm just sitting here like bro like it's not that expensive anyways the the furniture i'm just sitting here thinking like bro like what the fuck three times daily chip claims so instead of getting your when you go in the casino Instead of getting paid like a thousand, getting like a thousand chips, you get three thousand. So that's whatever. I, I could care less about that, I guess. Unless you're trying to buy, you know, the uh, casino decorations. 
The yellow frame bodysuit, and Tylerius said this in his video earlier, and I'm going to say it now. Why? Why is that locked behind the six ninety nine five nine whatever the fuck? Why is that, like, pay to win? It's a fucking cosmetic outfit, you know? It's not a discount. Like, yeah, it's free, but, like, I'd rather, like, Ty Tylerius said it, and I'm going to say it too. I'd rather just win it and, like, participate in a business battle. Like, it's not my kind of outfit. You know, it looks kind of goofy. Like, my character doesn't dress like that. I mean, if you are if you want to dress your character up all goofy, you know, go, f go for it. Don't care. It's your game. It's how you play it. But, like, me personally, like, I just don't care for this. But I just think it's... I, I still think it's dumb. Like, a costume is, like, locked behind GTA Plus, you know? Also, something that shouldn't be locked behind GTA Plus. If you are going to have this premium... If, if, if Rockstar is going to make this premium bullshit pay-to-win whatever, why are we, like, hiding cosmetic shit? Like... The blue and yellow glow shades, like, okay. The, the fuck? Like, who, who gives a shit? Like, again, like, doesn't matter, but, like, I, I, it just annoys me. Like, we could easily, like, let this, like, be, like, a reward when you do, like, a mission in GTA, like, adversary mode or some shit, you know? Like, don't, like, make it a pay-to-win whatever, you know? Then we got a yellow checked round shades and a session glow necklace, again... I could care less. Same thing about the blue and yellow glow shades and the uh, yellow wired bodysuit. Like, I don't care because it's, it's like, okay, I can live without it. Like, I'm just saying, like, why make it a pay to win thing, you know? I just kind of dumped me. That's like making, like, the tuner tires, like, paid. Well, that's the tuner tires, like, pay to win. But then again, that's, that's a car. It's different than, like, an outfit. And then, like, the yellow and blue cam camo livery for uh, certain vehicles, so like the half track, I believe, and some other vehicles. And it's this locking livery is like why? Like I'd rather level up with a with a reputation point thing at uh the fucking uh auto shop, not the auto shop, the uh the LS car meet. I'd rather have that. You know, level up, get to like rank one hundred because it's so tedious and grindy to level that up. I rather I rather do all of that, go through the trouble, do all of that, than just like pay six ninety nine to get it for like a month and it's only it's only available for a month you know but uh, granted it's, it's you can get it as soon as you pay for it like again i don't know why G rockstar is doing this gta plus bullshit like you can tell they're getting desperate like you can tell like they're like oh my god no one's buying this shit so we we, we better uh 100 percent chance of diamonds uh quadruple pay on this mission uh 50 percent pay more on this mission i'm like bro like my brother in christ like what are you doing yeah, Rockstar fans be like, hey, can you guys, like, fix the GTA Trilogy Remaster? It was really gl glitchy. Hey, can you guys, like, actually, like, nerf the oppressor and the laser like you guys said you would? Hey, can you guys, like, communicate with Red Dead Online fans to let us know if we're getting an update or not? And then they're like, what? You want us to make a pay-to-win service for GTA, even though the game is 10 years old and, it's, and we're about to release GTA 6 in about a year or two? Okay. It's like, bro, like... That's that's another thing. Why is there? Why is GTA Plus even a thing? You know, like why? Like I'd understand if it came out of launch, I wouldn't care as much. But like, bro, like why is it a thing? Like why is it a thing? Like this game is nine. It's it's turns ten years old next year. GTA Six is reportedly coming out in twenty twenty four. We're at the end of the game's lifespan. It's been on three consoles, not in three console generations, not including PC. Bro, why are you trying to release this to us? Like, what the hell are you guys doing, bro? I'm just like, wow. Like, like why? Like, if, it, if you did it at launch, I wouldn't care as much. I'd probably be upset if, like, GTA Plus got better exclusives. But by that time, I probably would have bought GTA Plus. But then, like, nine years into the game lifespan, you just like, oh, here you go. Like, why? It's so dumb. And us normal GTA players will then, like, GTA Plus also has access to this, but what we're getting this week is Podium Vehicle, the RT3000, which is essentially the Honda S2000. It came out last year, the Tuners update. Great looking car. I believe it was already a prize ride a few weeks ago, but if you want to get it, try getting it. It's a great car. I love it. We got the prize ride being the Gauntlet Classic. You have the top five in street races three days in a row. It's kind of annoying how it's like, oh, you gotta do it three days in a row instead of just doing it three races in a row. Because I don't want to feel, I don't, wanna, I don't want to wait twenty four hours to do it again and again. But great car, but you can you could convert it at Benny's to make it a, a uh, 
Daytona Charger. That's cool. Three times GTA money and RP on Independence Day land races. Okay. <laughs> Three times GTA money RP on business battles and running pack remix. Business battles. Okay. Oh, I, that's cool, I guess. Running pack. Running. Oh, running back. Sorry. Running back remix. No one ever plays that. We don't. We're, people are only going to play it just because it's triple money. But other than that, no one ever plays that. Two times money on lesser contact missions. I miss when the contact missions, all of them together were just dull money, not just a lesser, not just like, oh, this lesser mission or this Gerald mission or this Simeon mission. Other than that, I do enjoy contact missions. They are they are really fun. So I would go ahead and uh do that. But you're not don't be expecting to make a lot of money. I, I just play it for the experience and the money really. And then the event and then if, if you participate in these business battles, you win the statue of happiness top. You win, you win the uh, Piss Wasser beer hat, the Benedict beer hat, Patriot beer hat, and Super Wet beer hat. And then 50% off Independence Day content like clothes, makeup, weapons, tents, whatever. 40% off 40 percent off facilities and its renovations. No one does Doomsday Heist anymore other, other than the glitch. It's good to store your military vehicles in there though. 50% off the Liberator. Cool. It fits the theme. We got 50% off the Zentorno. That's a that's a that's a goldie right there. It's old with gold, you know. It's an old car, really old car. I don't know why they're adding it to like the the, the uh, discounts. It's it's kind of weird because like it doesn't fit the theme of like Fourth of July, but whatever. We got forty percent off the Ignis, which is a great car. It came out with the contract. It's relatively new, and I have it. I love it. And then we got thirty percent off MLC. We got we got a uh, thirty percent off the Tempesta. Again, pretty weird choice, and thirty percent off the Tug. So like. Again, GTA Plus, they're getting all these cool, di all these great discounts. They're getting all this, this fantastic do double money um, opportunities, quadruple money on some of the missions. And what do we get? We get, oh, triple money on races and adversary modes that nobody plays. And double money on these lesser contact missions, which you'll make at most maybe $30,000 when playing. It's like, like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, it, is, it frustrates me because what's the point in having GTA Plus this this late in the lifespan, nine years into the game's lifespan? You just want to add a premium service. Like, what the, what the fuck are you doing? It, it's and the whole diamond 100% chance of there being diamonds for the, the diamond casino heist, and then making it to where the crew gets less less money. I'm just sitting here thinking, like, bro, like they're getting desperate. Like they're desperate because no one's anybody who who has an IQ above room temperature. Is not buying GTA Plus, and they're 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 trying so hard to make us buy it. I'm like, bro, like, what are you guys doing? But that's pretty much all I really wanted to say. I'm just sitting here thinking, like, wow, what what's Rockstar doing? And we all know what they're doing. They're more concerned about money. They're more concerned about making money than they are, you know, giving fans quality content or fixing bugs in the game, whatever, whatever, you know, like that's what they're more concerned of now. Ever since all the original creators of Rockstar left, you know. They just only rocks are not is like a shell of itself, and it's pretty disappointing, you know. It's pretty sad when Ubisoft does a better job at communicating with fans than Rockstar, but hey, whatever. But yeah, shout out Tez Funds on Twitter for uh, actually, you know, posting these make make my life easier. I don't want to like sound like those weekly update guys on on GTA for YouTube. I know, you know shout out to their grind, but you know that that's just not my thing. But yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support I've been getting on uh, my GTA 4 playthrough. But yeah, um, like the video if you agree with what I got to say about all this. Comment what you think, you know, do you, do you disagree with me? Do you agree? And so subscribe if you're new to the channel. There was like actually like a thing I saw like 70% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if y'all can go ahead, you know, help me out. But yeah, with all that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.